Welcome to part two of our Photon Server Unity tutorial. Now, this is mainly starting to get really into this game stuff. The server stuff is done. I mean, there's really nothing else really left. Now, there's more very advanced things such as um, interest management, but I'm not getting into all that. I may not even do that in this tutorial. But, all right, let's start making, you know, a game. Well, let's say we're making... Uh, We'll do something a little different. And most things are first-person shooters. Now, there's other types of games out there. Let's say... Eh, we'll do a racing game or something. Just basic racing, not not anything super advanced. I'm not even going to do wheel physics or nothing. I'm just going to put cubes and stuff. Okay. Um, first thing we want to do is we'll come here. go to We'll make a new folder called Scripts. Okay, we'll put connect in there just so it's more organized. Now, <clears throat> let's open up connect again so we can see what's going on. And I noticed some flawed logic in my last video with the whole change master, change level master. This isn't the way you do that. I feel kind of dumb. Alright, let's come back here and we'll do if master view is... Uh, which one? Technically, it would it would be is scene view because it's part of the scene. But let me see something. I'm just gonna pause this so I don't have to make y'all sit here and figure this out with me. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on. This shouldn't even be in here. We'll we'll go ahead and copy this. Technically, uh, let me just delete it. We'll have to make another script for that. All right, let's go ahead and save that. So yeah, just delete that method or function, whatever you want to call it, entirely. This is fine. What we got right now, this is completely fine. So now what we're going to do is, since we're actually going to go back to the main menu and do some buttons, that way it's just, it's more structured, more organized. All right, we load main menu. Let's go here, make it 2D so we can you know put UI and stuff. All right. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a UI. Go to UI, Canvas. Now, if you don't know already, all UI elements must be a child of Canvas. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll come, click on Canvas, and press F so we can see the whole Canvas. I'm going to go to Game View, make sure it's on 16. And I will do, we'll just do that so it's more easier to, you know, do. All right, so we'll right-click Canvas and we'll hit Create Empty. I'm gonna I'm gonna close services. It's getting in my way. All right, now we're just gonna just name it Buttons, and then we'll create another empty called Labels. This you know so people know what the name of the game is. First thing we're gonna do is create a label um, or text, should I say? And I want to move it to like the top right or top left, sorry. And I'm going to overflow it. That way we can see what's, how big our text is easier. And we'll just name it Racing Game. Okay. And since we're in a black background, we're just going to do white text. Now, as, a as you can see, Game View shows our racing and white text and all that. But first thing we should do before we do anything else, click on Canvas. For me, at least. I click where it says US scale mode, scale with screen size. Okay, that way, you know, it scales everything with the screen size. Now, back to text, let's move it back up in here. As you can see, it's most of the whole screen size now. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to buttons, right click buttons, UI, button. Okay, now I'm just going to drag it down right here. We're going to host. And we're gonna make another one called join. <clears throat> All, right. All right, we got join. Now open up and go to the text. And we'll just put join and host. All right, I wanna make the text bigger. It looks like I can. You know what, let me make the buttons bigger. Just so it's easier to see and click. 
All right, we'll put X zero. All right, so as you can see now, we got our buttons, host and join. All right, now what we want to do is instead of doing on join lobby low level, we'll just do public void join random game. Okay. So now when we actually click a button and we set it up to use this method join random game actually this isn't joining so let me just do uh, host random game it doesn't matter host random game so we'll just create a random game and we'll host it okay all right let me just come here and move this from start to in here that way it's just more structured now and join lobby we'll just go ahead and we'll still do a debug so that way we know is if we want to remove that um that void on GUI. Alright, so now we say join this lobby. Alright, now, now we're going to do another public void join random game. Okay, now this is how we join a random game. We just do photon network join random room. Okay. So we'll come there and do that. That's all you have to do. Join random room. Now, what happens if there is no room to join? I mean, literally, there's just no one's hosted the game and you hit join random room. Well, we can we can throw up error messages to people. There's no game to join. Or we can make it create a room for you. So how you do that is you do public void on photon random join failed. I believe that's what it is. Okay, this is just something Photon reads if it fails to join a room. All right, just had to put a comment in there. So now all we have to do is we'll just get this, and post that in there. So it'll do the same thing as hosting a game, except if it doesn't find a game, it'll actually create one. Okay. So that's pretty much all you have to do with creating games and joining games. So let's go ahead and hit start. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is we want to just minimize those. So now what we want to do is where it says on click on the button. Let's just go ahead and click both of them. And then hit this plus sign. So now we created an on click method. Okay, or a call. Now all we want to do is we'll come here and rename this. We'll just name it Network Object. Okay, so we just do that. Click on Host and Join, and drag Network Object into this little None Object slot. Now, now we gotta select each one individually. Click where it says No Function. Go to Connect, and this is, since this is for hosting, we want to. Post random game. All right. Now on join, we want to go back to connect. Join random game. Now our buttons are set up to do everything we want. So whenever we go to hit play, it'll join our server. Join lobby. Now let's go ahead and hit join. It failed and it, it created a room for us. So that's taken care of. Now let's go ahead and hit host. Now you see we hosted a server or a game, should I say? It's really that it's really simple stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off here in a second. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. That's one of the keep this this tutorial series organized, not hour long videos. So let's see, we got hosting, joining random games, and if we fail to join a random game because none exist or if they're all full. We create a game and we have this is saying we joined our lobby yeah that is it let's go ahead and delete this photon view thing we don't need that no more hit save and let's just try again just to make sure hit host all right hit join all right looks good next video we're going to go over probably spawning 
and we'll do synchronization. Synchronization is going to become a lot easier than it used to be before you had to code it. Now you don't have to code synchronization no more. So that's a good thing. So we'll do that on the next tutorial. All right, guys.